Welcome to Zerif's uh, first impressions of the Tomb of Annihilation. Now, I have to be honest. This is one of the few ventures that when it was first announced, I wasn't really that excited for. But as time progressed and I slowly learned more and more about it, the more I fell in love with it. Now, did this book meet my expectations for my first impressions? I will have to say, with honesty, it blew them right out the water. Because this was, it has the most interesting content of any adventure I have seen yet from Wizards of the Coast. Um, I mean, there were a lot of things I liked. And a lot of things that made me go, oh man. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, um, that was what my thoughts were, um, uh, is that this adventure is pretty interesting. Um, one of the first things I'm going to probably bring up is that the, the whole story of this adventure is about the death curse and like, and I have players who kind of brush off death when it's not that threatening in the past. Um, like, if you ever play Curse of Strahd with the Adventure League rules, you know if they die, they can come back with a curse placed upon them called the Dark Gift. And it was fun for first few games, but eventually I had a game where uh, the player had a player who just brushed it off like there's no threat and did what he wanted and it was kind of out of control so but this isn't going to be a problem here because in this adventure when you die you don't come back you have to roll a new character if you want to continue playing unless you're playing eventually and then you you're kind of out of the game until because when you make a character you have to start from level one and I don't think this is a kind of venture like uh, Storm King Thunder where you can just pop a level one character in and at uh, random and expect everything to be okay also uh, they've talked about this and I would love to run this in the game. I'm not sure if you can do it because I haven't seen a section that says you can do this. But it talks about this. If your character has been have a character that's died and been brought back, they slowly begin to decay and die as time passes. And I would love to run that with uh, some characters of friends of mine who uh, had characters died and got brought back. And because it would just make the game more interesting, in my opinion. So, this Death Curse is one of the hot things about this thing. And uh, also, it has a hard mode called Meat Grinder Mode, which, uh, when you go unconscious, lose all your hit points and go unconscious, you have to roll a, a 10 or higher to get destabilized. In me grinder mode, it's a 15 or higher. Which I'm probably going to run me grinder mode. <laughs> uh, but this also takes place on a new continent that's not in the Sword Coast of the Forgotten Realms, known as Cholt. It's sort of the uh, land of the lost, as it were. Uh, it is a very interesting continent. I love the, uh, I love the people there. I love the culture all surrounding it, like the culture of the Aarakocra, the culture of these goblins, the culture of the people of Port Narizona, Narizona, uh. Huh? 
I'll second while I look it up. Port Nairazaru. Nazaru? I'm not even saying that right, am I? Uh, anyways. Uh, it, they have another interesting feature that people love, like uh, they added dinosaurs and dinosaur racing. And I have to be honest, when I first got this book, the first thing I did when I found out about it was skim for the book, look for dinosaur racing, and see if you could race a stegosaurus. Um, that was one of the things that was disheartening about this book. Uh, they do have a other feature, but they have a limited of uh, certain dinosaurs, and if you don't have a dinosaur like, for example, Stegosaurus, you uh, you have to race it under other on the list if the DM DM allows it. So uh, so that was a little disheartening, but it, I mean, technically, it's you can still race it. It's just under certain circumstances, and. Uh, the DM has to allow it, um, which I imagine I can't see why not. Um, you can also bet on races um, and so forth. And they have three races. They have the two-legged race, which is dinosaurs with two legs racing around the town. And these races are weekly, by the way. All three of them are weekly. They have the four-legged race which is four legged dinosaur racing and the unchained I think it's called which uh, you get to race and fight your dinosaurs while they're racing which is probably my favorite of the three <laughs> uh, yeah I, I love the uh, culture of the Port Narazaru uh, um, is they don't have a dynasty. They don't have kings or queens or lords or nobles like that. They have the merchant princes that rule it. So I thought that was very interesting. Uh, I love the uh, that the d jungle is a full place you can explore. And you're uh, looking for these lost locations to uh, find these places. And uh, I do enjoy uh, the uh, the the design of these a lot of these ruins. Uh, I won't give any away, but they have some features that I thought were really cool. Um, uh, as for plot, I didn't get much into the plot. I just, this is a first impressions video. So, uh, I do know it starts out with, uh, what was that guy that Chris Perkins called the weird bird? Acerac. Acer Acerac, Acerac, Acerac. Aserac, Sarac, or Sarac, or whatever. I'm just going to be bad with names for this video. Uh, but, um, uh, is, he's basically got something called a soul monger. It's capturing all these souls of people who've died and been brought back or died. And you don't know what he's up to, but he's here and told, and you have to stop him and these undead legions. So, as the way a lot of people pitched it, this adventure is a lot like uh, Jurassic Park meets Walking Dead meets Indiana Jones. 
don't ask me how those go together. They just it it's it's its own thing. So I say, and it, it does work for its own thing. So it's uh, so uh, overall. I I think this has the potential to become a great adventure. But I can't say anything for certain until I run it. Or have someone run it for me. Probably going to have to do a little of both to get a good feel for it. And see uh, the strengths and weaknesses of it. But overall, there's... Um, I do have a few concerns about it, but I won't list them. If you ask me, I'll probably do another video about my concerns of it. Um, but it does have a lot of content, a lot of stuff. It's 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 pretty cool, to say the least. It. Uh, this was a pleasant surprise by uh, Wizards of the Coast. So uh, that's all I got to uh, say about it for now. These, this is just my first impressions. So this is Zara signing off.